Uh, I'm going to talk about uh, 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 macroscopic interfacial phenomena, which is called Marangoni convection, uh, mostly about the uh, uh, related with, him, with that uh, Marangoni instabilities. What is a Marangoni convection? It is just uh, the flow which is produced by a uh, non-uniformity of the surface tension on the so surface on the uh, liquid. The, if the surface tension is not uh, the same along the whole liquid, then there appear some tangential stress in the direction of growing surface tension. And it, uh, according to the formula which is uh, shown here, just the balance between uh, viscous and capillary uh, stresses, it is clear that it will produce some flow. Uh, because uh, <laughs> because uh, it seems that uh, my talk is probably the only one in this conference that is devoted to this effect, I will start with some introduction which will describe the main physical effects and the, the main properties of this Marangoni convection. Uh, then I will present the uh, mathematical description of this phenomenon, say a few words about the uh, perturbation approaches that could simplify the, the problem. And uh, at the end, I will uh, say something new about uh, specifically about the role of myself. Uh, I, I won't talk about mixing, uh, though actually the uh, Marangoni convection is a, a, an efficient uh, way of creation of mix, mi creation mixing, of mixing in the case where other, other ways of uh, mixing generation are absent, for instance, uh, like turbulence or gravity. For instance, this takes place in thin films or under in the space under microgravity conditions where uh, mixing is where mixing is needed but cannot be uh, produced by usual usual means. Uh, so uh, as this is a, a quite natural way to create the inhomogeneity of the uh, surface tension along the surface is just heating because the surface tension depends on temperature but even in the uh, you have a if you have a layer for instance heating from be from below in homogeneous case in uniform case and uh, actually there could be state without motion Still, the motion can appear due to the, Marango the instability, which is called Marangoni instability. There are two kinds of two mechanisms of Marangoni instabilities. The first one is pretty similar to that of the usual buoyancy uh, Rayleigh Venard convection. If we have a if a, uh, if you have a, a layer heating from below, and somewhere a fluctuation of temperature appears a positive fluctuation then the uh, stresses will appear uh, and the stresses will create the motion which will bring hot water, hot, hot liquid to the boundary and that will uh, may enhance this disturbance and that will create instability. That is so-called Pearson's mode of instability. But there is also another one which is related to disturbances. If the, uh, the disturbance of the shape of the uh, surface appears, for instance, if there is no gravity, with, so which will uh, prevent such such uh, uh, action, such phenomenon, then this point of the surface will become closer to the substrate, and because of that, it will become hotter, and we shall see that again some. Uh, tangential stresses will appear, which will just move the fluid from from this uh, heat uh, column, and uh, the, uh, uh, the the film will become even more thin, and 
uh, the first kind of instability leads typically to patterns, stationary patterns, uh, unlike the uh, buoyancy conversion, which because of some symmetry properties of the problem creates typically roll patterns, the Marangoni conversion uh, creates, at least near, near, the, near the threshold, creates hexagonal patterns, which are is more generic kind of patterns. As to the second kind of instability, it is mostly, uh, sorry, it is uh, uh, leads typically to rupture. Uh, what will change if we will use, if it is a solution, it is, if it is not a pure liquid, but a solu solution of a certain solute. For instance, uh, assume that we have a solute of, uh, of molecules, there are molecules in the liquid, which has a hydrophilic and hydro, uh, hydrophobic parts, which is called suffoc suffocants. As in addition, uh, there, are, there are two ways for uh, these molecules to diminish their energy, the free energy of the system. One way is to be absorbed to the boundary, to is to, that means to the uh, hydrophobic, hydrophobic uh, uh, tails will leave the, the liquid. And another one to form some aggregates from many, from many molecules to hide the hydrophobic tails from the water inside these molecules. And uh, of course, in this case, uh, the surface tension will de de depend not only on temperature, no but also on the surface concentration of the absorbed uh, surface, uh, as absorbed substance. And the, uh, the, st uh, the uh, tangential stresses will have two components. In the simplest, most simplest case, we can assume that uh, the concentration, uh, if the kinetic of absorption distortion is faster, faster than any other characteristic uh, time uh, scales of the problem, they will be just, uh, the surface and bulk of concentrations will be just proportional. Actually, it is very bad uh, approximation uh, for big, for big uh, molecules of typical surfactant, it is not, not the case. It's necessary to write the equation for uh, uh, diffusion and uh, 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 advection of the, uh, of the uh, absorbed quantity. But anyway, there are two effects, thermocapillary effect and salute capillary effect. If you hit a layer, Yes. Then yes. the yes. gradient of, co of concentration may appear just automatically uh, because of the Sora effect uh, in the in the equilibrium. The gradient of temperature will will uh, generate the gradient of concentration, and we will have both effects. The concentration effect is typically much stronger than the. Uh, uh, than the thermocapillary. Okay, uh, sorry. Uh, these are a typical uh, main non-dimensional parameter of the problem. And the uh, important parameter is this parameter chi, which says whether our, these two effects act in the same direction is if kappa is negative or in the opposite direction. Uh, uh, that means that uh, the Gradients can be in the same direction or in the opposite direction, depending on of the sign. This is uh, essentially the system of equations. I will consider a simple case which analytically solvable, where the we just fix the temperature, the uh, uh, heat flux on the on the uh, surface. Uh, the solutions are, uh, the profiles of temperature concentrations are linear, 
and uh, we see that there are in the ingredients are in the same direction on the opposite direction, depends on the sign. Uh, in, in for weekly, uh, uh, for small BO numbers, uh, uh, for poorly conducting boundaries, one can, the instability is long wave, and one can use corresponding uh, method. Uh, and these are results of uh, of the analysis. Uh, if in the uh, act together, then the Mangoni number decreases, and if 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 compete. Then there are two possibilities, uh, by hitting from below, we have oscillations, and by hitting from uh, above, the soluta capillary convection prevails. The rest of the talk, I want to uh, revert to the case where there are some myosins. Uh, if we have, uh, if there is, a, 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 the, I, I will drop, I will don't well talk about the, thermodynamics of micelle formation, I will use the simplest possible uh, kinetic model, uh, which ignores actually important uh, non uh, this dispersion of the size of this uh, convection, of this, uh, of this uh, aggregates. I will assume that all aggregates have the same uh, size and uh, number of uh, molecules and uh, use the simplest uh, model suggested by Matar. And what we can see, what is important, that when uh, the concent uh, concentration, uh, the, the total concentration, which is the sum of mass concentration of, of uh, micelles and monomers, uh, contains two, two terms for large N, we can see that if C is large enough, then the concentration uh, changes very weakly with the total concentration. The, all the new stuff goes to micelles. That can be checked by also by uh, direct uh, direct calculation. So what what is the result for uh, what is the result for uh, uh, for Marangoni convection? How will the appearance of micelles uh, act on the Marangoni convection. And uh, one can, on a qualitative level, one can very easily say two different opposite predictions. The predictions number one, if we know that uh, the Marangoni, uh, that the uh, surface tension depends Surface tension depends only on the concentration of the absorbed, uh, surface concentration of the absorbed sa sentence, which is de essentially determined by monomers. So, uh, the prediction number one, because the, uh, mass, the surface tension uh, weakly, very weakly depends on the total concentration of surfactant, then the soluta capillary effect is switched off, and we get only thermocapillary convection. Prediction number two is opposite, because the micelles don't, don't, are not absorbed, and don't influ influence the inf interfacial phenomena, and Marangoni is interfacial phenomena, then nothing is changed with the appearance of, of micelles. Uh, we can ignore muscles and uh, use the formulas obtained for uh, in the absence of muscles. It is clear that both of these predictions are wrong, and uh, a, a quantitative analysis is needed. And I very briefly will uh, sketch this uh, analysis. So we write the problem which contains two concentration. Uh, concentration of uh, monomers and concentration of micelles. Uh, this is the equation of uh, for uh, absorption, uh, diffusion absorption of surfactant. Uh, uh, I, uh, today I will show only a simpler, uh, even simpler. Uh, sorry, yeah. So these are new, new uh, the system of 
of uh, non-dimensional uh, parameter is a little bit bigger because uh, we have a non-dimensional kinetic and absorption coefficient. The further simplifications are as follows. Because the micelles are much bigger than molecules, according to Einstein formula, the uh, diffusion of micelles should be much smaller than the diffusion of uh, molecules. And we make the following uh, approximation. We just, just ignore the diffusion of micelles. Of course, it uh, doesn't work everywhere. There should be bundle there anyway. And also, I take this unpleasant uh, to get to get immediately the analytical results. I assume absorption, fast absorption kinetics. So I get the following strongly, strongly simplified uh, system of equations and boundary conditions. Uh, the base state is linear for temperature and uh, base uh, without flow. Uh, be, uh, temperature and uh, concentration of monomers are linear, and for Marangoni convert for uh, for uh, micelles, a mass concentration it is strongly nonlinear. Then I pre make stability analysis of stability using the uh, information that uh, long wave the for uh, weekly uh, weekly. Uh, poorly uh, conducting boundaries, the instability is long wave, some, some so called long goldstone mode. And this is a problem. And finally, I get uh, applying the singular perturbation theory, I get the equations where definitely contain some contribution from micelles. This is a total concentration of micelles, a uh, disturbance of total concentration. This is a Thermodiffusion of micelles, which cannot be ignored. It is very, it is very essential. It doesn't uh, in this problem. It is it is not small, but it is big. And the tra uh, transfer of of micelles by the flow. Uh, finally, I get modified uh, modified equation uh, formulas for monotonic and uh, oscillatory instabilities. All the formulas are analytic. And so the bottom line is that micelles should be transition to micelles should be taken into account when we consider the uh, Marangoni appearance of the Marangoni convection. And these uh, arrows show how the micelles act when the uh, Marangoni, when the thermocapillary and solute capillary effects act in the same direction, then it uh, it is uh, a it uh, diminishes the, the threshold, mon monotonic threshold, and increases uh, in the case when they compete, the oscillatory instability and the, and the instability produced by a uh, solute capillary by heating from uh, effects by heating from above is also uh, diminished if the, uh, under some conditions that I, I don't want to discuss. So uh, finally, uh, we come to conclusion that uh, though my uh, the two predictions that I said in the beginning uh, said that there is no there is no need to invest to take into account uh, the influence of micelles because it is in, it is trivial. Uh, the truth is that it, this action is not trivial, so it is a subject for for the further research. Thank you for your attention. Thank you for this talk. Uh, so I will ask if there are any questions. Uh, so I do have a question. Um, when you mention small biot, num biot numbers, uh, right. you do s you mention long wavelength. Can you say more about that, like long wavelength instabilities? Um, uh, yeah. No. Like, uh, in the beginning, I. Uh, I talk about two instability, short wave instability and long wave instability of another role, another nature. When the BO number is small, mm -hmm. then assume that there would be no BO number equal to zero. Then the, mean te the disturbance of the mean temperature would, uh, 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 the, the change of temperature, the total change of temperature uh, would not decay. 
because uh, in the in the, uh, the the temperature the mean temperature would be would be a conserved quantity. If the number is small, it is not conserved, but not only almost conserved quantity. That means that it, the growth rate, growth decay rate is small, and where we have a small decay rate for k equal to zero, then we can get a positive decay rate, negative decay rate, growth rate for long wave uh, instability. So that is the origin of in, in another, not related to the formations, the origin of long wave instability. And then uh, all my talk was about this long wave instability caused by small bio number. Oh. Uh, thank you very much for the clarification, uh, Ali. Um, there's one more question in here. Uh, thank you for your talk. Um, when you first started discussing the micelles, you gave two arguments um, that uh, micelles shouldn't have much in impact on the Marangoni. One, that you know, once the micelles form, the tension doesn't change much. And two was that the micelles don't interact directly with the interface. So I, you had me convinced at that point uh, and so can you explain um, why that thinking is wrong? Okay. Uh, first of all, I, I have shown that this is wrong because in the, uh, in the formulas that I wrote, I saw three contributions of micelles. Uh, why the first one is wrong? Uh, because uh, the surface tension depends weakly on the total concentration of micelles plus uh, monomers. But the uh, Marangoni phenomenon uh, is called not by total concentration, but the concentration of monomers. And the dependence of uh, surface tension on the concentration of monomers, it is something different. Uh, it is not related. It is not related. It is a, it is related to the properties of interface and not related to the Marangoni to the existence of micelles. So uh, the uh, soluta capillary effect is not uh, is not switched off because it is caused call, caused by another concentration, not by total, but by, but the bulk concentration near the surface. The second uh, argument is not correct because when the convection appears, it moves not only monomers, but also, also mice, micelles. And it can, it can be not ignored. It, it influences the existence of micelles, influence on heat and mass, uh, mass transfer, uh, on mass transfer, heat and heat is not, but mass transfer, and uh, there are three points uh, where it, it acts. Uh, uh, that what what I said, uh, motion of micelles because of the flow. The second effect is the motion of uh, micelles due to the thermophoresis of micelles, and one more, uh, some kind of inertia which is produced by existence of micelles. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Ali, for this talk. Uh, so I think uh, there are not more any questions for from the audience. Uh, so if you can stop sharing, perfect.